but five sea urchins targeted and taken from the water. It's just one of many violations charter captains have witnessed on Anna Maria Island. They say groups of people have been coming in and taking lots and lots of sea life from sandbars and grass flats. Not only is this against the law, but it can also harm our ecosystem. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan explains what local captains are doing to try and put a stop to it. Off Bradenton Beach near Longboat Pass, Captain Katie Tupin's knowledge of the area draws visitors to her charters. Last summer, 2022, um, there were areas out here that were full of pen shells, oysters. The water quality was doing pretty great. But she's noticed a change. I go back to visit these same spots and it's completely barren. Using her camera. One group had 250 urchins. Over 200 clams, banded tulips, conch, sand dollars, pen shells, literally anything you can imagine that cannot get away, they grab. Katie photographs and reports people illegally harvesting sea life. I come from a long line of commercial fishermen, so th but there is a responsible way to harvest seafood. This group was stopped by the FWC. Katie says the men had their nets, pockets, and jet ski filled with sea urchins. The FWC says over the 4th of July holiday weekend, they issued 18 criminal citations and multiple warnings to six different people. Now they were able to return 10 different species and more than 200 living animals to the water. Our biggest thing is, is, is being able to, number one, find the offenders and educate them however they have to do that. Captain Joey Sweet with Sweet Sunset and Dolphin Tours is concerned for the area's future. It's kind of like the, the links of a chain. You know, if you pull out one of them, it's not going to work. That's why he, Katie, and other captains will be working together to stop illegal harvesting from these waters. We're going to be out watching. From Bradenton Beach, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. And if you're wondering why people would harvest so many sea urchins and other shellfish, well, they're considered a delicacy to some people. FWC urges anyone who witnesses these violations to contact them. You can remain anonymous and may be eligible for a reward.